The early pioneers who crossed the plains or sailed around the Horn would be amazed to see the span of steel stretching from San Francisco to Yerba Buena Island and thence across to Oakland. A solid block of concrete 150 feet high anchors the bridge at the San Francisco end. The great bridge will be suspended from two cables made up of steel wires almost a fifth of an inch in diameter. Two spinning wheels, each carrying two loops of wire at a time, travel back and forth between the anchorages. The men at each end unloop the wire, throw it over strand shoes at the end of the eye bars, which are set in concrete. Strands or bundles are formed of 472 of these wires. 37 of these strands compacted together complete one of the two cables to support the bridge. As the two spinning wheels pass each other in their continuous travel from one anchorage to the other, the tension of the wire they carry is maintained by the mechanism of this huge tension tower. The wire is reeled off of drums containing 65 miles of it in one continuous A total of 70,800 miles of wire will be used for spinning the cable and by spinning in parallel formation, each individual wire will share the load of the bridge. A cross section of the cable shows each of the 37 strands a different color for easy identification. The two cables are suspended from 500 foot towers, dividing the six spans that spread a distance of two miles to the island. The height between the bridge and the water approximates 200 feet, permitting the clearance of larger ships than any afloat today. Covering features of only one half the bridge, we come to Yerba Buena Island, where two decks of traffic will enter the largest vehicular tunnel in the world. Crossing the island, it connects with the Oakland half, which is of the cantilever type. A bridge to span San Francisco Bay at this point has been dreamed of for years, but only the phenomenal advance of modern engineering has made it possible. To paint the bridge will cost $835,000. To allow for contraction and expansion caused by weather conditions, both decks are equipped with these huge expansion joints. The lower deck is for trucks and interurban trains, the upper for automobiles. At a cost of 77 million, the world's greatest bridge marks another span of progress in scientific achievement.